Hey guys, it's May May, and I know what you're thinking. You're thinking if she does one more punch project, I'm gonna punch out. <laughs> no, don't leave yet. Don't punch out, don't clock out yet. I think you're gonna like this one. I figured this one out by mistake. Let me show you what we're gonna do. So we're gonna make a treat. How many times do you need a treat to give somebody at the holidays, right? This is just a candy cane. You can put all kinds of stuff in here, but I wanna show you using a candy cane. So I've cut a piece of cardstock that is two inches wide. Isn't this cute, this little buffalo check? And I think this little candy cane will be so cute. This will be a cute little thing to put like people's places whenever they're coming to your house, like on their table, on the plate even, super cute. So next I'm gonna be using this punch. And this piece is five inches by two inches. Now, this is one of those accidents, right? I just figured this out while sitting here a few minutes ago. So I'm gonna feed this in on that two inch section that I have there in the middle. Cause you know, this, these punches have those little sections for you there to help you line them up. Then I'm gonna punch it. This is the punch that is like the store hanging punch, you know, like the little tabs there. So see, I punched one in. Now I want to twist it around like this and I wanna punch the other end the same. So let me show you that. So we'll feed that in there like so and punch that in. And look what we get. We get this piece that looks like this, okay? Simple, no big deal, that makes sense. But watch this. If we take this piece, okay, and where this bottom line is, if we fold this toward ourselves, does anybody remember tortoise? If we fold this tortoise, not like a turtle, tortoise, yeah. If you remember, say tortoise in the comments below. And then we're gonna fold this one down and toward us. <laughs> so just forward like this, okay? Then watch, when you hold this piece here on the on your work surface, well, let's fold this back a little bit like this. Let's go ahead and do that to get them started. You put this piece down on your work surface and then you just kind of push forward. Watch what'll happen. You see how it kind of just folds for you automatically? And we're gonna fold this up to just about that top section there. And then look, we get this hole right here, right? Let me do it again. So I've got this piece like this. I'm gonna put it on my work surface and I'm gonna push from the back side to make the little fold happen. You don't have to do any fancy scoring or anything. And look, we get this little piece, right? Do you know where I'm going? Take this guy. This is so, I love these simple, easy projects because when it's Christmas time, we ain't got time to be spending three hours on a project. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna add glue to the flat part at the top and at the bottom, okay? Then I'm gonna place this on my little two inch by six inch piece. Did I tell you this piece was six inches? I think I told you it was two by six. Um, and I put that, I'm gonna do it this way because I need a little more space at the top than I do at the bottom. So I'm gonna put that like that and then look what it'll do. It will hold my candy cane or whatever treat I wanna put inside of it. I can put pens or pencils. I can put uh, candy bars if they'll fit. I put it a little high. I should have brought it down a little bit, but look, I can always do this. Isn't that cute? Like it's a simple, it looks like we had a holder or a die to make that happen. Let's do some more things. Let's make it super cute. All right, why don't we do the edges? Let's fancy that up a little bit. Let's use, how about the scallop punch? This is the stub and scallop. What if we just see what this looks like? It might be cute kind of mimics our little piece there in the middle. So we could do it just at the top if we wanted to. We could poke a hole, put a string, and let this hang on a Christmas tree, right? Or we could do it at the bottom as well and have it as the little lay around piece like on somebody's um, placemat or, you know, like a almost like a name holder. Like, what do they call those? Place card holder, like that. But let's decorate this little area. I think that'll be cute. So keeping with simplicity, I'm just taking a piece of scrap white and my one and three quarter inch punch, and I'm gonna punch this out. Can you see how you could totally do this on like your cutting machine? You could totally do this with your joy or anything else. You're just using shapes. Now I'm gonna take this um, red and white polka dot scrap. These both came from my scrap bin. What so now I've got, I want the little polka dot. I've got this side here and I've got this side. Let's stamp this one. So I'm gonna use a stamp set you might not think about for Christmas a lot. This one's called Sweet Stuff, and I'm gonna use this that says Holiday Treats. I think that's super cute. It's great, that stamp set's great if you're making candy treats for anybody, for classrooms, for your tablescapes, whatever. I'm gonna use Holiday Treats, just like so. I'm gonna stamp that in the middle of our little circle here. Oh, and notice I used green for the ink. I thought it'd be cool to add another color so I'm just gonna add in another color there. And now I'm gonna take my little black pen and you know what I gotta do? I'm gonna dot and dash all the way around, dot and dash. 
Here's a tip for dotting and dashing, okay? I've done that section there. Turn your page. Don't try to keep your page where you started. A lot of times we think we should be able to do that, but we need to have this where our hand can follow the curve. So when I feel like I'm having to force it, I'm gonna turn it and then go back to following that curve. It's just easier when we do this just like this. All right, let's turn it. I'm gonna keep going all the way around. Super cute. That just adds a little something. I just think it makes it look really cute. Let's pop this up. So you guys recently said you like to see our mistakes and you have no idea how many mistakes I've just made trying to film this part, but see how cute my little treat thingy is right here? Well, earlier I was filming. I totally would have normally cut this out, but I want you to see. I flipped it over too soon. I didn't let my ink dry and look. Now I got this smeary one and it makes me sad. So I wanted to tell you guys, slow down, take your time. I'm always saying, this is great. We can hurry. We can use this blah, blah, but slow down. Let's be a little slower than I'm being today. All right, so I'm going to flip this over. I'm going to check and make sure it's dry. That little gel pen can sometimes take a second to dry. This feels good. All right, I'm going to add some foam squares to the back. Just a few. Think about this about your foam squares. If you're giving this like as a treat at the dinner table or something, there's a good chance people aren't taking these home with them. So don't waste too much of your, um, your supplies on it. I know that sounds terrible, but you know what I'm saying. Don't waste too much on there. All right, let's put our little guy down here and look how that works. I love punches. I just love them. I cannot get enough. They're so easy to use. Now this guy's gonna go right here. I'm just gonna glue it directly down. And I think I'm gonna add a little bit of twine just for cutesy on here. And I might even just tie it onto the, um, the candy cane. I don't know, I may tie it onto the box. I think it'll be cute. So there's this. You could also make a little tag and hang that, maybe hang that off of the candy cane or something. That'd be super cute. Let's get some twine. So I got a little red twine here. I think I'm gonna try feeding it under here. Let's see what we get. Let's see how much we have to fight it. Not at all. Feed this under here, pull this out and tie a bow at the top here. So while I'm doing this, I wanna ask you guys a question. Recently, I had this idea. I was working with a customer in the store and I did not realize it, but they were left-handed. And so I'd been showing them how to stamp and everything like I do. And then I handed them the Misty to try it out. And she had to reset it to be left-handed. And I was like, you know what? It might be fun for me to challenge myself to do a video left-handed instead of how I usually do videos and see how different it is. I thought it'd be neat to kind of teach myself how not everybody um, can just easily do what we do when we're right-handed when most tools are made for right-handers when they're left-handed, right? I know Tamitha right now is going, yes, 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 because she's left-handed and she does a great job. And then recently, uh, well, I should say just a little bit ago, Vince and I were filming a video. Yep, you better be watching because there's one coming with any boo. But Vince and I were filming a video and he's left-handed and it made me think of it again. I thought, I need to try that. So if y'all would like to see me challenge myself to make a project using left-hand dominant, meaning all my tools in my left hand, you know, using them like you guys would if you're left-handed, let me know in the comments. If you do, just say, yes, please do the left-handed video and we'll just see what happens. I think it would be fun and funny at the same time. And uh, I would like to challenge myself and see how hard that is. You know, my mom is left-handed too, so it's kind of, it would kind of be appropriate. Check it out, a super easy treat, using a few punches. And if you turn this over, you have all of this real estate to write a little note to somebody if you want to. You could add another little panel back here, maybe put um, scripture or maybe put a little Christmas poem. You could put anything back here, maybe photos from an event. I don't know, whatever you might wanna do would be super cute. And I would move yours down a little bit further than I did. I, got, I didn't really pay attention to that. I got a little close, but look how cute that is. I think it's adorable. And how many times do you need a quick treat? It's a great one. If you have not started your collection of these, you need to. I'm finding a million different uses for them. They are well worth collecting and having in your stash. Thanks so much for being here today, guys. I hope you have enjoyed Christmas in July. We're not done. It is the 27th today when you're watching this. So you have Thursday's live show. You have Saturday's um, regular video plus Saturday's joy video but then we're done with um, Christmas in July. Then we're gonna start bringing in some fall and Christmas. We're gonna do both kinds of projects. So you'll see them both. I hope you've enjoyed it so far. We've really challenged ourselves. We really enjoyed this month. And um, I appreciate you guys being here along for the ride. 
don't forget to subscribe. Hit that red subscribe button. It is free. And if you set the bell notification, you can tell YouTube to let you know every time I post a video so you never miss one of our upcoming um, projects or treats or whatever we have going. All right, guys, thanks so much for being here today. And until next time, bye now.